I also think it was really important in the early going of the series to give people at home who've maybe never been here inside the Wrestle Factory with us an understanding of the geography, that this is where we make our entrances and the step and repeat where we do our stand-up interviews is right there. And if you go around the corner, that really is where the event center happens. That really is where Scott Holliday does the scoreboard. And you can look through that window and that's commentation station right underneath our Max Moon portrait. It really is all right here in the same space. It's not one of those gigantic arenas where you see somebody walking down a hallway somewhere and think, that could be in a different country. You have no sense of where it all is. It was important from the outset that this be accessible to people that are brand new to Chikara. That if our universe or our continuity felt daunting, that you could jump on board, you'd have a baseline understanding as quickly as possible and feel how this space works and how all of it really does happen in this very narrow space of ours. It's, <laughs> it's not this unending infinite amount of room that you can wander around in. While we are here inside the show itself for the hour that it lasts or whatever the runtime is, for all of us, I think it's really important that you feel as if Chikara as a universe puts its arms around you. The world is crazy right now and there's a lot out there to preoccupy our minds. But for the hour that you're in Chikara's action arcade, we want all of that to be excused from the conversation. And you can just enjoy wrestling on Saturday mornings the way so many of us did growing up.